you must be saying, what is the greatest thing I can do with this life? Because one day you will fall dead, do you know? Do you know you will fall dead one day? I was talking to about uh, eleven, twelve of them, young boys and girls. When something came up and I was just asking them what are they going to do next because they were in their tenth standard or something, they are only talking about finding a job and earning a living. I… I couldn't believe this because my whole life I never thought of earning a living. My, my dear father used to break his head, this boy has no fear in his heart, what will happen to him, what will happen to him? I said, not having fear is a problem. I thought fear is a problem. <laughs> I never thought not having fear is a problem. <laughs> so, uh, according to the dictates of the divine, I was supposed to become a doctor because my father is a doctor. At the age of ten I told him, no, that's one thing I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be a doctor. But every day somebody is trying to work on me, you must become a doctor, you must become a doctor. You know, Indian family, you must become a doctor. If you cannot… Of course, now they all shifted to software. <laughs> it is not because they are when normally interested in human physiology, they became doctors, not because they are… have an electronic… <laughs> this thing they became a software engineer, just to earn a living. Is it not important? I'm not saying it's not important, all I'm saying is, even an ant which has one millionth of your brain is capable of earning a living. What's your problem with such a big brain? <laughs> Why I'm saying this is, this idea, this horribly limiting idea has been imposed into the, our youths that you must earn a living and that's the biggest thing. With this big brain, earning a living is actually a problem on this planet. Do you… I know everybody's been conditioned to believe that. It is not so, I'm telling you. It is not so. Earning a living is a petty thing for human consciousness, but unfortunately, whole humanity is investing all its energies and intelligence in just earning a living. I'm not saying one should not. All I'm saying is, it need not occupy the entirety of human consciousness to earn a living. If you put one little finger to work, it'll earn a living. It's capable, this is capable of that. All human genius has been smothered to death simply because everybody is thinking how to earn a living, how to earn a living, you know. The moment they can earn a living, they will sit down and become fat. You must be saying, what can I do with this life, isn't it? Yes? You must be saying, what is the greatest thing I can do with this life? Because one day you'll fall dead, do you know? Do you know you'll fall dead one day? So before you die, whatever is the peak possibility for this life should happen, isn't it? I earn my living, I earn my living. This is a big pride. Why don't you see every insect, every worm, every bird, every animal, Every creature in this planet is earning a living. What is such a… what is such… what is there to be so proud of about I earn my own living? Everybody is earning their own living, isn't it? How many things human beings could have done? How many incredible things they could have done, but instead of that they're earning a living? That has become a problem because you want to be like somebody else. Isn't it? You want to be like somebody else, 
that enslaves you. And once you are into this chakra, nothing else is possible, it just keeps you going and going and going endlessly.